Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is definitely looking like fall out here in Marietta as we are seeing some fog developing on the Jan Dill Sky Cam. This is really what we're going to be watching throughout the morning commute, where really along Front Street, not dealing with it until you get closer and closer down into Marietta. That's where that fog is. So you're going to have to be careful on that morning commute. Temperatures so far have been able to cool down a little bit more thanks to these clear skies. So we're down to around 57 and more fog developing into Wood County, especially down south into Charleston. If you're traveling along I-77, you'll definitely have to watch out for that. Now, most of us sitting in the upper 50s this morning, we still got some cooler spots into Athens and Caldwell. 55 degrees, the rest hovering around 57 to 59 this morning. Now, as we get rid of that fog, we're not going to be bringing back sunshine later on this morning. We are starting to see more cloud cover start to move in from the western half of Ohio, mainly because of a cold front pushing through Ohio. That's bringing in that chance of showers, but we're not going to be seeing widespread rain today. Honestly, it's mostly going to be scattered when we get into the afternoon and overnight tonight. Temperatures climbing up to around 75 degrees, 3 p.m., and then back down into the upper 60s by around 9 o'clock. So looking at future cast, the widespread rain, not going to be there. That will start to slowly fall apart later on this morning, so we'll see a hit or miss shower this afternoon and then start to see more develop overnight tonight as that front pushes through. So our Wednesday will dry out once again, maybe a little bit of fog for the commute again, and then plenty of sunshine rolling into Wednesday with some scattered showers up towards the north, but we're not expecting any into the middle Ohio Valley, especially into Thursday. Now, after that cold front goes through our daytime highs that we're going to be seeing today goes on a downward trend. We will see overnight lows down into the upper fifties, but that also will hit a downward trend. Look at those overnight lows into the upper 40s over the next couple of days and those daytime highs feeling very nice, only sitting in the mid 70s. Now time to take a look at what's trending. <music> 